Welcome back everyone, this is CNS Farms and today we're going to be going over how to use the real life silo setup. Now the name of it is right here on the bin, I cannot pronounce that to save my life so whatever you guys want to call it, whatever the name is, that is what it is. We'll call it the real life silo because as you can see we got the auger set up here, we got the bin, the fill is at the top. So before we go over this, I just want to say thank you guys for all the views on the channel. I appreciate it. But now we just need them subscribers. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Pretty sure over 80% of you guys haven't subscribed yet. So make sure you hit that. And while you're doing that, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video. Help me get it out there more. But with all that said, let's get into the video. So let's talk about the silo first off so you'll come in under buildings go into silos and there's actually two of them here so there's one that holds 980,000 liters for 72,000 which is this guy right here we'll go ahead and just place it down so we got that guy or we have this guy here that holds 1.1 million liters and it's 84,000 so we'll go ahead and place this guy down and we are in the build mode if you don't know how to get to it you can either if you're on console you can hit l1 and the shop button and open it up just like that or you can come in to your shop menu go down to the three lines and come to construction so that's how you get in here if you didn't know so let's take a look so we got this guy right here pretty big compared to this one we have the smaller one placed out here but let's go ahead so we have our out unload pipe right here up on the top is where you load and then here again we have our out pipe we'll talk about the in in a second here so you're gonna need these augers in order to use this silo it's pretty much a realistic setup this is how uh, the bins work in real life if you guys didn't know you'll have your out auger and your in auger for the bins in real life now they aren't technically set up like this, some are different, but around where I'm at it just has a straight pipe going up and it cuts right in. Now I have seen YouTubers with these augers before. So anyway, let's talk about where to find the augers at. You'll come under tools, you go the whole way down to the bottom, and it's going to be under belt systems. And it'll be the very last two. So you have this guy right here that's 14,500. This is going to be your short pipe for the unload and then we'll also have this guy right here this is going to be our long pipe for loading and it's going to be 25,500 so let's talk about how to work these augers so in order to move them you'll just hook them up to a tractor same thing as always there's a little um, hitch right here on both of them let's run over here and take a look at this one the hitch for this one is going to be right here so that is how you'll move them now if you come to the back of them it'll say enter vehicle so what you want to do is go ahead enter the vehicle and now you're inside and you can hit L1 oh actually you gotta hit start engine first so now you can hit L1 and you can go right stick up right stick down to adjust the height just like that or you can go left stick or right L1 and right stick side to side left to right and it'll move where your little unload is if you take a look right here you can see this guy moving around so we'll go ahead and put that back there now you can also drive these things forward and backwards just like this to get them lined up perfectly so you'll go ahead and get that lined up right over top of the red cap you can also steer these guys they're just like a um, vehicle that you can drive around you can steer it left to right forward and back and once you get it lined up pretty close I think that should be good maybe we'll pull forward a little bit more I think that should be good there you can go ahead and hop out now in order to use the unload mechanism this has or the the load mechanism I guess you would call this this is how you load it in you have to make sure that your auger is turned on so as you can hear it is running it's on so let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna load it so you'll get your tractor with your trailer here and all you have to do as you see you can go ahead and all you do is just back right up to it just like that and hit R1 triangle and I'll go ahead and unload it and as you can see up at the top it is shooting into the auger or the auger is shooting into the 
grain bin and it's getting it loaded up so once you have all your crop in it'll stop there you go now your silo is loaded and you can go ahead and turn this off hop back in the vehicle and stop the engine so you'll need to have your auto engine start um, turned off so that you can turn it on and let it run to unload because if it's turned on it'll automatically turn off once you exit this vehicle so keep that in mind same thing for this guy so now that it's in here let's talk about what all you can hold now in real life you can only hold one crop per bin so this isn't very realistic because as you can see here it says we have corn sorghum barley oat wheat and canola in here all at once i was doing a little bit of testing kind of disappointed that you can hold all these crops but i guess for farm sim it doesn't have to be totally realistic if you wanted to play totally totally realistic you could put up multiple bins and only use one for each crop that would be my suggestion but let's talk about how to unload our bins now so we'll come up to this guy here enter the vehicle and we we'll want to go ahead and let's see can we start filling okay we don't have to turn this one on but just like the other one, let's go ahead and start it up. So you can pipe up and down with the L1 bumper held in and the right stick. It'll put it up and down depending on how high your trailer is. For instance, we don't need it very high. So let's just go ahead and drop it down. And then, as you can see, we're not lined up anymore. So we'll go ahead and pull this guy back a little bit. And this you can also steer with just like the other one. So we'll go ahead and get that lined up under the out pipe here. That looks pretty good and our trailer is in position. So what you want to do is hit L3 and start filling. So we'll go ahead and just fill some wheat. Now as you can see our wheat is in the trailer just like that. Now I did notice that you can come up to this guy here and hit L3 and start filling. I'm not sure if you have to have the auger turned on or not. I actually didn't test that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So let's go ahead, get this guy pulled out of the way. And we will grab this trailer right here since we got it unloaded now. And we'll see if we can just pull up underneath of it and hit start fill and see if it will start filling. So let's go ahead and get him. Oh, I, we might have to put that auger up. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump the auger up a little bit. There we go, that should be perfect. Now if we back up under this and hit start filling, do we have to have the auger turned on? No, we do not. So you can actually fill from right here, that'll work. So I'm pretty sure that is all for this video. I'm pretty sure I went over it pretty well and if you have any extra questions or comments that I didn't um, hit on this make sure you drop them down in the comments and yeah so make sure you guys subscribe it's gonna help the channel out a ton if you guys subscribe and most of you guys haven't yet so it would be nice of you to do so and if you haven't yet make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video and like always we'll see you on the next one this has been cns farms see you next time i'm terrible at outros oh my goodness don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe also check out the video and playlist up on the screen this has been cns farms thanks for watching